Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we are going to continue our adventure in War Tales and boy oh boy this is going to start just like we wanted it with a big bang. We are ambushed by bandits. I still wanted to go here and find out more but apparently the bandits from the tower uh, couldn't uh, rest up and wanted to immediately join the fight. So let's see how well we're going to go. Critical damage increased by 30%. Uh, that's not great. And it is going to be a fight on two fronts. There are two poachers here. What kind of skill do they have? Normal vicious shot. And another poacher, uh, poacher there. Yeah, I don't like our starting position. Polly needs to unfortunately hold the line. Together with Miss Grell. Now, we got a lot of uh, valor, which is a good start. The question will be can we inspire everyone with uh, tactical order? Zoe and Enders uh, would be a minimum required, and we need more movement, so. I think actually we're starting with uh, Pauly. Everybody gets a massive movement increase. He is then holding that flank by himself. And I'll grant him some protection. And that, that is it. Very good. Now, on the other side. Let's give a bit of order uh, orderliness over here. And we're moving right into the mix. This is a good position, can't be flanked as easily as the others. Start to hit, and I should have encouraged. Ah, never mind. It's okay. Poly disengages. Interesting. I think it's a good time for Dilly G to start his mischief. Or actually for Zoe to hit those two. Can we do that? No, can't yet. No. Oh, let's cluster let's let them cluster up a bit more. Moves over here. Best friend bonus. Moves a bit closer. Nicely hitting both of them. I like the critical strike here. Fantastic. Good. In terms of finding the right place, I think this here should be good enough. It's far enough from here. This guy is very much slowed down. Now that's okay. Tiny bit closer. All right, 
right, Zoe. Nails this guy to the wall. Slows him down. Substantially. And then some more extra damage. Uh, Nemory is immune to uh, to uh, burn, so that'll be fine. We're having a good uh, position here for now. Uh, 28 points of damage on the other hand are sizable. Nemory is now surround. Oh wow, she's surrounded and it's not looking great. Need that first aid, that sweet, sweet first aid. But first, we're giving everyone fury. hit that cures all of the status effects and we're also getting one Valor top of it the hoodlums are actually dealing quite a bit of damage I do not like that Moves up. Hits these two fools with poison. Good enough for now. Moves up a bit more. Full valor. Kill him. Regain fury. Doesn't matter. That we're burning. And we're passing on the burning. But only to that hodlum. All right, he's weakened, which means we can disengage without too much repercussion. Let's just double check something. All right, that's the play. One, two, three. And we're moving far, far away. We definitely need to heal Miss Grell. Oh, well, we definitely need to heal her badly. up 
Hmm. Currently can't reach her. That's not good. Let's slow all of these guys down. I think Grell has 15. Will? No, only 10. Uh oh. Well, luckily we can make our way through to her. There we go. First aid being the life uh, saver, the absolute menace of a life saver that it is. Good, I think we need improved speed again. And we're just going to defend for now, that gives us more Valor. And we're actually okay here. Never mind. No, no, why did I do that? I wanted to move. Um, I think we're going back here mainly to get some more uh, to get some more benefit uh, some more healing Uh, technical order would be a waste. But not if it is done on two. There is the orderly. And we're done. Very good. They are hitting their friends over and over. Okay, well, here's the deal. I definitely would want to get uh, a damage reduction for everyone. Equally, that this guy here needs to die. Hits him nicely, and we are getting a Valor point too, actually. Dilly is in uh, close combat, that's not good, that's typically not the place he wants to be in. That's not a kill. Do we have anyone else? Not a kill either, but we could move over and then kill him. This is important. Moves up and even if that means we're taking fire damage. We should be fine.
Good, we're ending up here. With the first eight, that will mean Enders is okay. And with a move to here, which means only Nemery would uh, take fire damage, and we're good. JP is still holding uh, the one flank all by himself. That needs to end. Let me think. I've... It's okay that we're taking a bit extra damage. Don't want to yet use that one. Actually would want to use it onto all of them for a better hit. That's a hit. And a massive one. And a kill, regaining a lot of uh, Valor. Five time poison hit. Move up into a uh, Sprint and that'll be it. Sprint seems to clear. Um, does it actually clear burning? Enders just stop burning for whatever reason. Move up, heal Dilly. Move up further. And engage in a nice little hand-to-hand -hand combat. There we go, baby. Polly has a problem. Everyone has a problem here. I'm thinking about who can generate the the most valor? I mean, a five-time hit here would definitely be a great achievement, but I want the second shot. And, if possible, I would like Jim to do Rallying Cry. Maybe what we're actually going to do is move up here, kill this guy. We're accepting that the Dilly is burning, <clears throat> but we're getting Valor back. Very nice. That's another uh, mm. kill.
We're going to slide a bit back. Can we heal? Uh, someone is the question. Now, I need the Valor points for offensive skills. Next up would be that guy. The melee ones are not so much of a problem. The ranged uh, enemies are more of a problem. fat hit and we're getting one Valor back all right ovation which means everybody is inspired and we're just deflecting here. Move up. More poison. Eight times. And they are now vulnerable. can we uh, help uh, how can we help JP Pauly hmm I know how we're going to bind the last possible enemy to us with deflection And now all of them are in melee combat, but they all take massive amounts of damage. Move up. Kill. I could throw a knife, but I don't want to waste our uh, our remaining valor points Everybody gains fury. We break up that engagement and second line gain fury here as well.
That's a hit. And we're weaseling our way out of combat. On, on the brink of, uh, on the edge of dying. Oh boy, such a close combat. over there oh yeah P passes on burning good job psych and that was exactly what was needed oh barely heal all repair all and we get more of those poisoned offhand knives which is great and we got an a final upgrade so Hewlett has 15 willpower so he's good movement could be improved I'm thinking if we could go plus two movement movement seems to be ultra important on most of uh, the maps just to be like quick I am considering going to say 12 13 movement just so uh, that we're okay let's try with 12 movement for now i've underestimated that in the past but someone like anders who has 13 movement is just really faster in getting most well the front line doesn't need to be that fast but the back line i think 12 13 movement might be it the idea is just to kind of put a couple of baselines here right so number one i want 15 willpower so that is what zoe and uh, deli g will get next and of course enders matter of fact that's what everybody will get the 15 willpower just saved uh Pauly. that was good So that's number one then the movement will be number two and afterwards i think we can experiment with uh, a bit of uh, primary stat for the uh for the uh, damage dealers i think there is actually um, a good enough reason to also increase critical um, hit chance permanently as that seems like a great way of yeah proccing additional uh, additional abilities as well so yeah thinking about how how we want to go about that going forward i don't have a final plan but we're only at level five and apparently you can get all the way up to level 12. when next to an ally this unit has 30 percent damage increase that's great each time an adjacent ally is attacked by another enemy in close combat um deals nine point of damage that's not bad and what was the third one mm. that's okay against their front line but i really don't have that much problem with the front line we're mainly ignoring them typically they are not dealing a lot of damage this here isn't bad because you could like put him into the second row and then he's just continuing to deal damage this is fine it's a flat out 30 percent damage increase because he's almost always next to an ally right yeah i think this might be the best uh, because it it has a hundred percent uptime the others are 
great as well, but they might be very situational in nature. So I'll come back to the tower in a second, but I promised you guys that we're investigating the actual storyline for once. And there is a tracker's camp. Love it. I think we needed to double check what these strange roots were. No one is safe from the ghost pack. Not even in the most sheltered and peaceful regions like Vertrues. I'm surprised you're asking about this plant. It is a weed that only grows in Alazar. It is not sold anywhere, nor is it edible. Even the pit, but it is nonetheless an astonishing plant. It can survive and thrive in the driest soils. It can spread its roots far and wide to absorb any moisture in the ground. Of course, I hope this is helpful. Noises can be heard from outside the camp. All paints, all of these trackers. Have... No one is safe from the ghost pack. Okay, you already mentioned that no one is safe from the ghost pack. I get it. Single use now. We don't need that. Thank you. All right. As always, when we're doing these things... We're being interrupted. Let us through, Tracker. We're here for the mercenaries. Some merchants saw them entering the camp. What do you want from them? Nothing that concerns you, monster hunter. Stand aside or. Hey, look who's drum, Tracker. This is between the mercenaries and us. Well, we didn't even get a chance to negotiate, so it is what it is. So let's join the uh, fight. Ice in the back of their head. What does that mean? This unit has no back weakness. Well, fantastic. There is a master tracker who's not allowed to die. Then there is this blocker, who very much is expendable. Let's first of all get all of our troops on one side, shall we? Very good, so archers to the back. Master Trek Aestos could fight from down here. I think that's a decent position. He will just get hung up here and not run too far. Namri could barely take uh, tactical orders for Enders and then move in. It's not a bad idea. Two tactical orders on the other hand would be even better. So let's do that. Enough to move up and engage in melee combat. Oh, wow. We'll get an immediate retaliation. Fantastic. Tell you what, whilst we're on it, 30% damage reduction for everyone. Seems like a standard buff, but that's actually really helpful.
One, two, three. That's not good enough yet. Moving up here. Nice little triplet hit. And we are ending the turn. Good. Enders. Let me just double check. Could move to here. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's good. Okay, JP Pauly and Ender's uh, relationship have improved as well. Apparently Ender's is a very social bull guy. Lots of poison here. Best friend bonus. Not a lot of damage though. We're moving back. And all of these guys here are nicely separated from us. All right, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. I tell you what, it's more efficient to do this here. Some fire to soften them up. A little bit of extra damage, and I think we're done because that already gave us a bit of inspiration. What kind of shot do they have? The Muxling. Ah, that's a nasty one. Moves up to here. Does a nice little scream. Brutality. into getting this guy more into burning even more than before and I think we're just going to stay here that will give us another valor point two actually because we have orderly and everybody has the fury buff now Ovation does not sound like a bad idea. Hmm. Do we want to take burning damage? I actually don't. For now, we're just going to stay here. And we're being the front line. Yeah, I was thinking through whether or not we should continue to try to alpha strike them, but that's not a good idea.
three points of damage. Yeah, that's almost nothing. This guy is... Oh, he, they do have 78% guard. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we need that instability. But we do have poison, so that works out well. Aim into a very solid hit here. Okay, that worked reasonably well. Getting that zealot uh, slowed down works as well. And best friend bonus. Oh wow, plus vulnerability, that is nasty. Gotta get uh, to those archers. Good, movement increases. Tackled the archer. I think we are still furious. Okay, cool. It's three. That's a hit. And a nice little lethality. And we're moving back up. End of turn here. It really worked well with our Valor points. Bit more fury. Who didn't like her? I think Miss Grell was the one being a bit skeptical. them stand next to each other unfortunately this uh, this poor dude is completely surrounded at this point who else does have fury we got fury here Good. Refreshing Fury. And we're getting another Valor point back. Okay, cool. This cluster unfortunately asks for another hit. Oh yeah. Ouch. Uh, 
Oh boy. One, two, three. Kill. And hit the next one. Okay, very good. Miss Grell cleared out most of their back line. And thanks to the enormous burning and poison damage, which is just crazy that it stacks so high. These guys are effectively dying left and right. Okay, gotta admit, the enemies, if they are sufficiently high in, uh, in level, uh, they are actually becoming quite scary. Grell moves up here. It's on a rampage at the moment. One, two, Moves to here. Uh, didn't kill him. Too bad. Still getting a Valor point for standing right next to him. This guy will die <coughs> just due to the immense poison and so on. Oh wow, Dilly G is on the brink of death. That we can't have. Just the amount of archers apparently have completely, uh, completely obliterated him. Well, we're continuing with uh, some burning. to here not best friend bonus but friend bonus Some damage, but we're also creating mud in the way. It is what it is. <laughs> Grell is uh, on the brink of dying, not good.
can't engage in melee combat. But what we can do is we can move up and make sure that the others are are not killing Grell. We need Valor and we need it fast. Alright, moves up here, deflects, but that does not generate Valor. We can engage from the other side next turn. Alright, um, this creates Valor. And we're ending the turn. He's in position, but he just burns himself down. First aid to get Grell back. Some extra hit for Dilly and we're actually going back. End of turn. Solid hit. And we are gaining Valor. Poison into almost 100% kill, but not quite. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the Valor to actually kill him. In return, we just got uh, the dying debuff. Well, great. Can't stand next to anyone. So no free Valor here. don't want to act with Miss Grell. <sighs> Having difficulty to get through all of that. Grell puts in deflection and then immediately starts dying. Okay, moving up. Get back from dying. And I think that sentry is now dead. There we go. Okay, thank God.
Nah, can't spear throw, uh, throw from here. We're just getting that sweet, sweet... Um, sweet, sweet extra valor. Okay, so, hmm. All right, bit unorthodox methods, but I think we made it through. Cost us all of our healing supplies. And we need to get back to uh, to a blacksmith. Why these men were so keen to find you. Why kill for a simple tuber? Well, we don't know that, why that happened, but I think... Or pro, uh, almost progressing the storyline here. These guys are clearly no help. I wasn't ready for my first encounter with the ghost pack. Not only did I nearly die, but I also became a burden for my colleagues. Good. With those wise words, we're ending today's episode. Um, we have progressed the storyline, but that was a massive battle. I'm hoping I can uh, level up uh, blacksmithing a little bit more because we need more defense. We're just taking overall too much damage. And I mean, it's fair, right? So if you do have, for instance, Zoe, if you do have a level three white uh, armor and you're fighting against level seven enemies, what are you expecting? It, it's not going to go well for you. So we need to do better. This bow here has dexterity plus 18. I, wait, 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 wait. Did I just see that correctly? 929 points of damage. Oh, but it requires level six, so yeah. Well, that is a fantastic bow. That also explains why they are dealing so much damage. Uh, that is actually quite a good bow. Not going to lie, if we could get that to Dilly, his damage would increase from 18 to potentially a bit more. Um, maybe 28 even. And it has Muxling, which is my favorite skill so far. A huge AoE damage. I uh, really like that. Cool. Anyways, that's the end. If you want to sling some mud at the like button, I wouldn't mind that either. So see you in two days. Bye-bye.